Impressionism was a style of art from the late 1800s, and many of the artists of that time are still very famous today. This painting called Impression Sunrises by, by Monet. This is the painting that gave the whole style its name, and we could see many of the hallmarks of Impressionism in this painting. There's all this thick sort of brushwork in the painting. They weren't interested in lots of little details and trying to get everything perfect. They would do bold impressionistic brushstrokes because they wanted to give the impression of the scene. They didn't want to reproduce it. The other thing that we see in this is that they would often play with the way light laid on the surfaces. So this dappling light is something that you'll see in impressionistic work. Sometimes there's a hidden Z pattern in the work, the way they would organize the surface to help you see all of the elements. So that was a nice way to kind of anchor the work visually. In this painting by Pissarro, it's called the Peasant Houses. And it almost goes back to the realism style where they would paint the poor people of the time, but here again with the bold brushwork and playing with the light outside and getting that feeling of it was painted right there. And that's what the artists would do. They would take their easel out into the space and paint what it is that they saw in front of them. We call that plain air painting. In this painting by Bertha Morisot called The Cradle, we see all of these hallmarks coming together. Bold brushwork, we see that Z pattern kind of hiding within the painting, and it was painted from observation. She was one of the most famous impressionistic painters of her time. So impressionism was concerned with these things, and they also played with the ideas of color. Sometimes instead of painting something green, they put a little blue and a little yellow next to it, and then we would see the optics or this mixing to create green, and that would mixing would happen in your eye. In this self-portrait by Cezanne, we actually see the Z pattern is backwards. He was trying to give us this feeling of angst. When they put the Z correctly, it gave the paintings kind of a flow, and it made them feel easy and uh, calming. But when the Z pattern is backwards, it gives you a feeling of unease, that something might be wrong. So subliminally, he's trying to give us a little bit more. This is the epitome of Impressionism and actually goes beyond Impressionism. We call it post-Impressionism. Vincent van Gogh's painting in Starry Night goes beyond what we normally would see in Impressionism. Certainly it has the bold brushwork that we see throughout the work. Um, there's a hidden Z pattern in there created by the hills. Um, but he's starting to use color to express emotion. So he's going beyond just what the Impressionists would do, leading to many other styles of art. This is why it may be one of the most famous paintings in the world.